So I got some Amazon gifts today from my Amazon wish list, which is so exciting. I got these Cushionaire slides. I've been wanting them for a while and I'm so excited to have them. Then I also got some ear pods because I need them because my phone sucks at hearing people unless they're on speakerphone. So yes. And then I'm so excited about this. It's a llama pool float. I'm obsessed. So thank you so much. You know who you are and I really appreciate it. It really makes me so happy. So thank you. Thank you so much. Happy Thursday, everyone. I hope you all are having a great day. I'm going out later, so I'm going to show you the makeup I'm wearing. So I used the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette, Major Dimensions, the first one. It's so pretty. I love this palette. So that's what I have on my eyes today. And for my liquid eyeliner, I have on my favorite, the Physician's Formula eye booster waterproof one. It's really, really good. Then for my lips today, I have on the Maybelline. Superstay Matte Ink in the shade 30, Romantic. For foundation today, I have on the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, which is a really great foundation. I have some eyelashes on today. Um, let me see what they are. They are these um, Kiss So Wispy Lashes. They're really great. So that is my makeup for today. I also love this eyelash glue. It's the Kiss INV Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive, and this is in black, and it is a really great for your false lashes. So that is what I have on today. I also have the ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter on, which is so pretty. I love it. So yeah, that's my makeup for today. So this is my cut right now. It is still healing. I put Neosporin on it and I cover it with a band-aid, but I was just changing it. And yeah, I used a brand new razor when I was shaving my legs. And oh my gosh, I've never cut myself this deep from shaving my legs. And it took like an hour for it to stop bleeding. So it's a pretty deep cut, but it will heal. Probably have a scar though, but you know craziness right <laughs> I know some people said that it looks infected but this is just a scab forming like it has to scab over and then you'll get new skin and yeah it's definitely not infected and my neighbor next door is a nurse and she said it looks completely fine and it's healing just like it should so on Tuesday I called Apple because whenever I would talk on the phone like to my ear to the phone I could not hear what the other person was saying like they sounded so low like they were in a tunnel like could not understand them all at all but if i put them on speaker i heard them perfectly fine and they could hear me fine no matter what so i called apple and they ran a diagnostic test on my phone and they said my battery has exceeded its lifetime and they think that's why it's doing that on the phone not exactly sure. I've only had this phone since 2020 and it's an iPhone 11. Also, they did help me fix the volume. Like now I can understand what people are saying when I have my ear up to the phone. Like it sounds decent. Like I can have conversations that way. So they did help me in that way. But I obviously do not want to get a new phone unless like I have to. But there's nothing wrong with my phone. It does everything, you know, all the functions. I can do all of that. It's only like a little bit of a volume issue. But besides that, my phone works perfectly fine. And I would probably only get a new phone unless they like provide it free. Because why get a new phone when I don't need one, you know? So that's how I think of it. And yeah. But they said, like, the battery is going on my phone, but I don't see that, like, it's not like my phone is dying all the time, it stays charged, I don't have to charge it all the time, so I'm not really sure why they said that. I guess, like, it's exceeded its lifetime 
battery, I guess. I don't know, but I don't see any issues with my battery. 